Hi, I'm Mary Jo Boyd here with another eBite from Attorney Computer Systems. Have you ever wondered why we have two different types of expenses? One is called expenses and one advances. And have you ever wondered if you really have to use both? Well, you don't. Expenses generally are considered soft costs. They are usually your copies, postage, things like that. Advances are usually the things that you're writing a check out of AP or you're, you're paying in advance, court costs, uh, medical requests, things like that. What if you never bill for postage or copies and you don't want that expenses and on the statement you just want one line item that just says expenses or costs, uh, whatever you want that to be. Well, you can do that and I'm gonna show you how. So first off, just decide what you want. Do you want to name it expenses, advances, cost recovered, whatever that would be. And if we go into our statements tab up here and then into statement setup, statement customization, underneath terminology, we have the ability to change the name of those expenses. So I'm gonna go down here to line 25. And this is where we could say that we want this to be um, cost recovered or um, client cost advance or just expenses. You can leave it as expenses. And then we have our total expenses. So you can change the terminology of line 25 and line 26 to be whatever it is that you want to show on the statement. But then down below here, if you look at line 27 and 28, this is where those advances would show up. And so if we look at line 28 and I click on that, we have some options here that if we only put an asterisk in here, it will suppress this line and the only lines that will print then is the line 25 and 26 for the expenses or whatever you've renamed that to. So on line 28, all we have to do is change this to an asterisk and save it. And then we will only have one line appear on the statement with the actual terminology that we have changed it to. And when you're entering in costs and advances over in tabs, you can use whatever code that you want. It won't make any difference at that point because they all will be lumped together over here under your expenses uh, and they will be totaled on the statement in that way. Uh, if you don't want to use any um, advance codes at all, you want everything to be expenses, you can change that in your T code and your transaction codes and only use E codes and make sure that that's whenever you enter in a cost that you use E codes. Uh, so that's the way that you can come in um, and change that to appear differently and combine those on the statement. You of course can always leave them separated as it comes out of the box as well. I hope this eBite has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to visit our website or give us a call. Thanks.